mechanisms also but i think uh, this is the more precise uh, mechanism and uh, with this one you are getting uh, point to point clear idea what is happening at what which point where the proton is shifting where is the positive charge why the positive charge is shifting how the dapco is uh, involved in the reaction how we can regenerate the catalyst everything i have covered over here okay so we have to start from here so what is the expression the nucleophilic addition of dapco onto the alpha beta unsaturated ketone gives the zwitter ionic intermediate so first stage we have to add nucleophilic addition of dapco okay so nitrogen uh, possess lone pair and this lone pair uh, will add nucleophilically okay so nucleophilic addition of this uh, dapco to alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound to gives this zwitter ionic intermediate okay so once this nucleophile is getting attack at the fourth uh, first position 1 2 3 4 this is one four conjugate addition of this catalyst across alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl uh, compound to generate this zwitter ion zwitter ion means positive charge and negative charge they have localized on the electronegative atoms okay zwitter ionic intermediate is nothing but the here you can see positive charge is located on nitrogen atom and negative charge is located on the electronegative oxygen atoms so both are electronegative elements electronegative atoms nitrogen as well as oxygen and uh, these two possess uh, two opposite charges uh, where you, you as you know nitrogen cannot possess this positive charge for longer time still uh, that one is possessing positive charge to stabilize this uh, our alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound <coughs> okay so the thing is as uh, zwitter ionic intermediate we have generated uh, which will add to the electrophilic aldehyde okay so once we uh, generated zwitter ion uh, we have to add uh, now this is nucleophilic addition of this uh, generated uh, enolate this is enolate now okay so we generated enolate uh, by taking help of this dapco okay so dapco Uh, zwitter ionic intermediate is more stabilized intermediate actually you can search for this zwitter ionic intermediate what is the effect of zwitter ionic intermediate and now here we have generated enolate and i think by dapco this uh, this becomes more stabilized now we have we are going to add uh, this one so see first here is one four conjugate addition we do did we have done over here now we will do nucleophilic addition of this enolate across carbonyl group of the aldehyde so this is one to direct addition now of this carbonyl okay so negative charge shifting in the carbonyl group negative uh, then negative charge shifted on the carbon and this nucleophile or carbonyl attacks or adds to across this carbonyl group okay so we we are getting this type of intermediate over here okay so don't uh, uh, underestimate this hydrogen atom they are present over here on this carbon atom they do uh, they do play very important role so pay so look at over here hydrogen atom now we have generated negative charge on uh, y or uh, may y may be oxygen nitrogen anything negative charge on oxygen and positive charge still on dapco so now we want to eliminate this proton and this proton uh, by elimination of this proton uh, uh, that one uh, and that proton is getting abstracted by this again dapco okay so dapco what is the role of dapco to abstraction of this proton and again to generate this negative charge on oxygen atom okay so in this way we do generate two negative charges by abstraction of proton again we are getting protonated dapco over here okay so this protonated dapco also uh, we do use utilize in next level of catalytic cycle okay so everything i have included in this one uh, where uh, uh, dapco is converting from dapco to protonated dapco then how pro protonated dapco is uh, uh, affording or uh, providing this proton to this intermediate and it will turn to the allylic alcohol okay so here we have generated once we abstracted proton by dapco again uh, we got protonated dapco that one is that one came out of this solution as a waste uh, then we are getting this type of intermediate where two uh, negative charges and one positive charge on the same molecule and now uh, how to 
to do the, this one so we have to eliminate now uh, by um, rearrangement of this intermediate so nucleophile nuclear negative charges by shifting in between carbonyl group and in this way this bulky dapco is eliminating uh, in form of uh, uh, this one dapco and uh, here i have shown uh, the dapco what uh, came out outside okay and now here negative charge which is present on the uh, oxygen atom uh, it needs proton the what is the proton source we didn't use even protic solvent and all these things uh, we don't we didn't use water and no other proton source we can find over here so here this proton source we can generate it already uh, that proton, protonated dapco acts as a proton source and this o minus or n minus abstracts proton from this protonated dapco and in this way uh, uh, the uh, real or main reagent main catalyst is getting recovered over here and we got our uh, allylic alcohol okay carbon carbon double bond and at adjacent position hydro or hydroxy group is present so in that way we got the allylic alcohol as a bailey-silman product okay so this is the ring element this is the our uh, uh, start this is our the reaction and this is our product and i think the same mechanism i tried to explain with uh, by uh, in simple way here is one simple way okay so you can refer uh, any mechanism i have given uh, the same mechanism by two three ways this is a, a simplified thing uh, nucleophilic addition of dapco second one on two alpha beta acetyl ketone first gives zwitter ionic intermediate third one zwitter ionic intermediate which will add electrophilic electrophilic aldehyde okay electrophilic carbonyl carbon it attacks on the electrophilic carbon carbon producing the keto alcohol fourth one okay keto group and alcohol group fourth one elimination of dapco okay elimination of dapco gives the desired allylic alcohol so elimination of this from molecule this to here this mechanism is not clear it's only you know it's simple mechanism they didn't clear everything here but uh, the previous slide mechanism that uh, explains everything so better you can uh, take advantage of that mechanism and uh, then uh, the mechanistic pathway you will understand uh, very well uh, with this mechanism okay so what is the exact mechanistic path i have explained over here so this is uh, useful for your study or uh, for your preparation okay so we'll go so one more mechanism i tried to explain over here okay so finally we got belly silver allylic alcohol over here i have uh, given over here in bracket the star, uh, final product starts from this uh, dapco catalyst alpha beta unsaturated methyl acrylate okay so addition of this one to this to get this type of zwitterionic uh, zwitterion intermediate uh, attack of nucleophile across carbonyl group okay so then uh, uh, what type of intermediate we got again uh, rearrangement and elimination of uh, DAP, uh, dapco then it affords such kind of molecules and finally we got the belly cinnamon adapt and dapco as a regenerated catalyst okay so any mechanism or uh, you can uh, you can prepare your own uh, uh, mechanism uh, that means with the help of all these thing, things you can simplify it uh, by your own uh, so what another uh, catalyst we can use uh, instead of dapco so in addition to dapco dapco is the best uh, catalyst best basic catalyst to uh, conduct this reaction to catalyze this reaction but additional nucleophilic amines see uh, the word is here nucleophilic amines the amine should be the nucleophilic so that that lone pair which is present on the nitrogen atom it should be present it should be available easily to attack on the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl group so it's an additional nucleophilic amines such as dmap or dbu okay dmap also one type of catalyst we can search over on this one dbu also one type of another base uh, nitrogen containing catalyst as well as phosphines phosphines also having lone pair so phosphines also can be used successfully to catalyze this bailey silman type reaction here is again i have uh, taken uh, trial kill amine as a catalyst okay so bailey silman reaction involves michael addition first one 
as you know it's a conjugate one for addition of the this basic catalyst and uh, uh, it it has giving this michael adduct with tertiary amines we have done this reaction at the beta position of the activated alkene at the beta position to form zwitter ion intermediate okay enolate we got here zwitter ionic enolate then this enolate reacts with aldehydes to give another zwitter ion okay so all uh, zwitter ions here is a zwitter ion another zwitter ion that is deprotonated and the catalyst is released uh, proton transfer affords the final products okay so the pay attention over the how the rearrangement occurs where at which stages uh, zwitter ions they uh, did form enolates how did they form and everything and finally how your catalyst is getting regenerated so now scope of this uh, morita belli silman reaction uh, morita belli silman reaction uh, is generally in any reaction of electron deficient alkenes and sp2 hybridized carbon electrophiles such as aldehyde ketones and aldehydes catalyzed by nucleophile under special reaction conditions the reaction is also found to extend the alkene halides as a electrophilic reagent in this variation amine nucleophiles are unsuitable and uh, trialkyl phosphines are used instead okay so here i have given one more uh, var variations and here alpha beta unsaturated um, uh, uh, one starting material you can find and another um, this thing i think they have reacted uh, this uh, bromine okay uh, with this one and to form this type of uh, cyclic product okay so in presence of the tributary phosphines they have done need to search more on this thing okay so hope this one will help you out uh, for your uh, preparation 